How's it going YouTube and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be showing you just how easy it is to remove the doors off of your Jeep Wrangler. First step of this install process is to locate the evap canister. The yoke will take a little bit of gentle persuasion. So these tabs do not want to come off easily. So why are we taking the doors off today? Well, I'm sure there's a lot of people who don't know how to take their doors off or may be new to it. And I've seen a lot of girls in a Jeep girls group who don't know how to take it off. So so are you going to show them how we take them off? We are going to take them off together. All right. Awesome. So there you go. We're going to be taking the doors off. OK, so the first step that you're going to do is roll the windows completely down on all the doors. This will help protect the glass uh, just in case it were to fall or tip. And it also gives you something to grab onto when you're lifting the door off of the hinges. So Jeep makes it super easy and they provide a little toolkit in the glove box when you buy your Jeep new. Now you're going to need the T50, which is the biggest Torx bit that they have and the little ratchet that comes in the kit. There's going to be two hinges on each door and each of those hinges has a screw in the very bottom that you are going to remove completely. When you get close to the screw being completely out, it's going to stop ratcheting and you can remove it the rest of the way with your fingers. Now it's time to remove the bottom screw. Once you've removed all of the screws on all of the door hinges, Jeep actually provides a nice little cubby hole for you to store the screws in. As you can see, I have the four doors, so there is, well, eight slots for you to put the door screws in, and there are eight more slots for the bolts or the screws that you're going to use when you uh, remove your hardtop. So if you have electronic doors and windows, there's going to be a clip uh, up underneath the dash that you're going to have to unplug before removing the door. Now there is a tab that you're going to have to push in with your finger and pull out. This is the plug that you're going to remove and as you can see there is a little latch right here that you're going to have to push in with your thumb and pull down at the same time. Once you get that done you're going to have a cloth strap right here that you're gonna remove from the hinge right here. This is to keep the door from completely swinging open on you. Now be careful once you do remove this because the door can swing open and you'll put a dent in the cowling of your Jeep. Okay, so once you have the plug undone, the strap undone, and the screws out of the door hinges, it's now time to lift the door straight up and out. Now it's gonna be easier the closer you can lift to the hinges. You got it, sweetheart? No. No? There we go. You got it? No. <laughs> For the four door Jeeps, the door connection and the latch is going to be in the pillar right by the seat. So you're going to pull out the little compartment, pull out the, the connector, and then there is another cloth latch that you're going to pull off of the uh, holder. Sometimes it's easier if you close the door a little bit to get it off, and you're going to pull that out of its uh, slot and then lift the door off the hinges. Keep in mind that when you take your doors off of the Jeep, be sure to check the state laws. A lot of states require that you have a side mirror and a rear view mirror when you uh, are driving down the road. You wanna do this so you stay legal. Okay, so that was the process in removing the doors on a Jeep. Overall, how hard would you say it was? Not that hard. Just uh, due to COVID, lost some of that upper body strength. <laughs> can't take the doors off by myself, so it's good to have him around. Well, hopefully the gyms open up back, <laughs> <laughs> open back up soon, and we can get back in there. Next time you'll be taking the doors off by yourself. How's that sound? High five. As always, if you enjoy this video, please hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner.